What's up fam, how are you all? Hope everyone is doing great. So in this video, I'm going to share complete details about AME set. So if you are someone who want to enter into aviation sector, so this video is completely for you. And before starting this video, I have a small question for you. How do you get to know about this exam? So if you have the answer, please comment in the comment section. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay friends, welcome back. So AME set, which stands for Aircraft Maintenance Engineering Common Entrance Test. So this is a national level common entrance exam, which you will get admission in aviation sector in topmost colleges, topmost universities and topmost institutes in India. So I hope you understand why this exam is conducted. So if you look into the courses offered through AME set exam, so this exam is basically divided into five categories. So the first one is license, engineering, graduation, diploma and certification courses. So in license category, we have pilot course, AME, DGCA, AME, EA, SA. So under engineering category, we have aeronautical engineering as well as aerospace engineering. Under graduation category, we have BBA in aviation, BBA in airport management, BSc in aeronautical, BSc in AME, BSc in aviation. And in diploma category, we have AME, aeronautical engineering as well as aerospace engineering. And in certification category, we have cabin crew, airport management and ground staff. So these are the courses which are offered through AME set exam. And if you look into the important dates for this exam. So the application for this exam which started in September 1st 2023 and the last date for application form is 31st March 2024 and admit card is available on 4th week of April 2024 and AME set exam is conducted on 1st week of May 2024 and the results for this exam is announced on 2nd week of May 2024 and the admission counseling will be started in 3rd week of May 2024. So if you look into the eligibility of AME set exam, so the candidate age must be between 14 to 28 years and one candidate can apply this exam for three times and if you look into the eligibility criteria for different courses and categories, so in license category for pilot and AME courses, you have to clear your plus two with PCM subjects and for AME EASA, you have to clear your 10th boards. So in engineering category for aeronautical engineering and aerospace engineering, you have to clear your plus two with PCM or PCB subjects and in graduation category for BBA in aviation and BBA in airport management, you have to clear your plus two in any stream and for BSc aeronautical and BSc in AME and BSc in aviation, you have to clear your plus two in PCM subjects. And in diploma category for courses of AME, aeronautical engineering and aerospace engineering, you have to clear your 10th boards. And in certification category for cabin crew, airport management and ground staff, you have to clear your plus two in any stream. So if you look into the AME set exam pattern, so for the students who have cleared 10 plus two with PCM subjects, the exam pattern will be general awareness which has 15 questions, English which has 15 questions, mathematics which has 20 questions, physics 20 questions and chemistry 20 questions. So in total we have 90 questions which consists of 360 marks. And if you are a student who have cleared diploma, so the exam pattern will be general awareness which has 15 questions, English which has 15 questions, aptitude test which has 60 questions. So in total we have 90 questions and the total marks will be 360 marks. So if you are someone you have cleared plus two with non PCM subjects. So the exam pattern will be general awareness which has 30 questions, English which has 30 questions and general intelligence and reasoning 30 questions. So in total we have 90 questions which consists of 360 marks. And if you are a student who have just cleared your 10th board. So the exam pattern will be general awareness which consists of 30 questions. English which consists of 30 questions and general intelligence and reasoning which consists of 30 questions and the total marks will be 360 marks. So if you look into the exam syllabus for each category, so the exam syllabus is like little bit huge. If I have to explain all the syllabus, it will take much more time. So I will try to give it the snapshots in the screen itself as well as I will try to provide the link in the description. You can check out from there. And if you look into the registration process, there are two types of modes. One is online mode and another one is offline mode. So if you are someone who want to apply online mode, you have to first visit the AME set official website. There you have to register yourself. Then after that, you have to fill the application form. After that, you have to upload the basic documents like your photograph and signature and you have to pay the registration fee. Your registration process is completed. So after the successful registration, you will get congratulation message with registration number to your given mobile number as well as your mail ID. And if you look into the exam registration fees for male candidates of general category and OBC category, so the exam fees will be 1600 and for the female candidates of all categories, as well as male SCST students, the exam fees will be 1400. 
and if you look into the payment mode and if you are someone who are applying on online mode you can pay through debit card credit card net banking or online transactions such as google pay paytm phone pay and so on and if you look into the exam centers so in total we have 43 centers across the india i will try to provide the exam centers in the screen itself so you can check out from there so if you look into the scholarship so based on your rank you will get the scholarship you can see the ranks as well as maximum students who will get the scholarship as well as scholarship on tuition fee as well as maximum scholarship in inr you can see the complete details in the screen itself and you have to note that that scholarship will be applicable on tuition fee for first semester only so don't think you will get the scholarship for the entire course you will get the scholarship for only first semester and if you look into the top colleges which will provide the ame course so the first one is alpine institute of aeronautics dehradun School of Aircraft Maintenance Engineering, Delhi, Western India Institute of Aeronautics, Ahmedabad, Indra Institute of Aircraft Engineering, Pune, Indraprastha Institute of Aeronautics, Gurugram, Haryana, HCAT Kanyakumari Institute of Aircraft Maintenance Engineering, Aurangabad, Rajiv Gandhi Aviation Academy, Hyderabad, NDC Institute of Aircraft Maintenance Engineering, Vadodara, Gujarat, Vinayaka Mission Aviation Academy, Salim, Tamil Nadu, Jawaharlal College, Kerala. Puran Murthy Campus, Delhi, VSM Institute of Aerospace Engineering and Technology, Bangalore, Karnataka. So these are the some of the top colleges which provide courses in AME. And if you look into the training partners or universities, so in industrial training partners we have Air India Engineering Services Limited, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, Indomir Aviation Private Limited, Go Air. And if you look into the universities and groups, so first we have Deen Bandhu Chotu Ram University of Science and Technology. All India Council for Technical Education, Savitri Bai Phule Pune University, and Anna University. So these are the some of the training partners and universities for this course. So this is all about AME set. I hope you got the complete information about this exam. So if you still have any doubt regarding this exam, please try to comment in the comment section. I will try to reply it as soon as possible. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found this video is useful for your friends and relatives. please share to them and if you want more videos just like this one in the future please subscribe the channel and turn on notifications just by hitting that bell icon so this is your joshua kamlakar signing off